start with the discussion of manufacturing technology, EPC, and uh, operation maintenance. Let me just briefly introduce you, uh, introduce myself. Uh, I was uh, working in PhD at Park University Council in the of Land, designing and manufacturing uh, installation about nuclear power plants. I was involved in one of our political collaborations for PhD and countries. Uh, after that, I left the PhD and then I started up with we have the solar business for the last uh, 2011 onwards. We started with zero. So we are just going on to that. Basically, <laughs> more experience in manufacturing, design, and uh, innovations. Anyhow, I think uh, probably all that my experience for the other than coming out of this. Let me just make it not as a, not as a moderator, rather than I just make this as a so that we can start with what the hell maybe one, you know, uh, with all the experience of uh, each one of you. And I do have some very specific questions related to the industry that it has been growing. And uh, at the later point also there are so many points which you all definitely might have gone through all these things. And uh, let us uh, discuss that and let us branch off that so that it can be useful to everyone who are gathered here and of course useful to our own self. So I just request uh, each one of you to bring uh, your uh, your yourself to the question and about your experience in this. Hello, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Anush Daftari and I'm taking care of uh, key accounts for Bari Energies for Maharashtra and MP. Good evening everyone. I'm Samish Paul, Director of Celestial Green Research. So we are the distributor for Sunbury Burners and also we have models in our previous. So basically we do challenges with us. Good afternoon. My name is Adam. I am from the United States. 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 Thank you. Good evening everyone. I am going to introduce myself. Myself is Rahim Ujjari. I'm taking care of the national channels for some pro India. And I've got a uh, good touching of experience and uh, more out of it, like major video and experience into uh, inverter sales only. So, that's what I think. Thank you. Good afternoon, Nitin Pare from Namitas. Hi, good afternoon. This is Dimesh Pandey from Ayamans India, looking after Western and South India. Hi, guys, this is Akshat Pandey. We are uh, distributors for executive premier modules and what power is this way evolving and in the Hello, good evening everyone. Uh, myself is Shantar and we are representing Reward. Uh, we are the manufacturing of uh, steam inverters uh, for utility as well as steam Thank you. Thank you, members. Uh, we will have some three or four products. Um, First of the year, uh, I'm able to see in weather, we can have a plan manufacturing, so thanks for being here. Uh, and then start with the manufacturing uh, technology. Uh, when we came into the business, I think one of you also could have talked about uh, the seller did not know what he has to sell. The buyer does not know what he wants to do. The retailer did not know what to do. And the pricing was already close. So it was a lot of ignorance of money. So everyone was fighting, like, you know, now, right now, what is going on here? The previous session, they were just mentioning that uh, the developers and the other people, the EPC people, they say that uh, they have been just negotiating, cutting each other again to find the champion of this victory. That was the only thing that was going on at the end. And uh, we were leaving because it is very short time. The industry is really, really short. As for the statistics, 3,000 gigawatt has to be installed with the value of 3 trillion. Never in the history of any of the industry uh, revolution has given so much of potential for particular If you just see that in the previously automobile, it takes about 
so safety risk is a common business, there's a common risk of safety. Now, I don't know, automobile is in the space and in the same, of course, the EV has come, but I do not know whether we go for individual automobile to public, the developments of other inventions, and there is going on, like new transportation, and all those things, there are so many things out in the area right now. Coming to Solar, it is really important. And at the same time, we also know that solar is a business which does not require working capital, which does not require manpower, which does not require a scope. You don't have to sell it. So, maintenance approach it is very, very minimal compared to that. Absolutes of the technology is also very, very minimal. Is there any other business better than this one? We, I even used to address even the challenges uh, gathering in many places. I even asked them, can you tell me about the business than this? I do not so, but solar is very popular. Least understood, to be honest. How big is the company in the area? How big is the company in the center? I am just telling you, this is a very key. Please do not mistake me. Can this experience what we have in Calgary. The ignorance plays a major, major part. The champion of less ignorant is for and he becomes a winner. That particular thing. If he finishes his day, then he goes up. Now let's start with something interesting. Uh, I don't know if this manufacturing something has been pissed off or it is there in the next day. Bifacial pattern, the advent of bifacial pattern is going to play a major, major role in the coming years. Major role in the coming years, and not only that, it is going to change the specifications of the panel, specifications of the instrument, and specifications of the, the cables and every tap. The one product which was there, it was not a big function. In fact, bifacial panel should cost less. Because no, that traction has been removed. No, it should cost less than the motivation. Because the same sense are being used, I do not know, I don't know the technology. So it should cost less. Okay. Now, the introduction of the vibration panel, I am just putting this topic on to at the interest of all the people so that it will be interesting to you also. What is the impact of the Vibration panel into the market. I think let's go with the panel market. How do you feel the impact? And what is the manufacturing technology that you are bringing in? How do you explain to the people? Sir, uh, I would like to tell that thing uh, why. Uh, right now, out of our 20 gigawatt of facility, almost uh, around 9 gigawatt models we are manufacturing vibration models. As all of us know, uh, we are getting most of the US market and in US market, by default, they were vibration only in the last few years. So, uh, coming on to the technology part, definitely we will have that particular extra weight when we are using vibration models. Uh, these models are basically meant for the European countries where the temperature ranges are in the range of like 20 to 25 degrees Celsius, where you have uh, that uh, on the back side you have snow. Then you will have better uh, albedo effect uh, as compared to the Indian conditions. So, uh, some of the manufacturers claim that the uh, albedo effect will be ranging from 15% to 20% to 30% when it comes to artificial models. But the actual scenario in India, we talk about. We are, we are putting our models on, on the brown soil on the black soil where it will have albedo effect or, or the gain at max uh, on, in terms of black soil you have up to 5% where in, uh, where in you, you put models in Rajasthan or some grey soil you will have that uh, impact of around 7% The advantage as, as I said uh, market is being derived by uh, European countries and uh, western countries so, the demand in Western Western countries is by default by efficient. They don't accept more efficient models. The issue, the, the, the main reason is the good effect, first thing, and second is the life of the model. If we talk about the normal model which are coming in back shape, uh, they have a tentative life of around 27 years. The performance warranty which is being given is for 27 years. But if we talk about bifacial modules, 
the, the, the warranty itself is of 30 years, so you will have a year extra on top of the generation what you are getting extra because of algorithm. So definitely in the near future, uh, in around uh, 2 years or 3 years by 2025, we will have maximum uh, uh, models coming with biodiesel. If you need to talk about uh, you know, uh, top one or with NGT. So things are going to get a change into the uh, biodiesel models. Yeah, power level adjustment. Thanks uh, for your very, very uh, detailed and analysis uh, thoughts shared by my colleague from Bali. Uh, I believe uh, what is really shifting the movement towards vibration is uh, the delta between the amount of uh, high voltage molecules and vibration is just around 5 lakhs of megawatt. And uh, these are just the benefit that you can get. At uh, versus 5 lakh would be the megawatt on the yield side is probably a double digit gain if you are you know competent enough and you have a good agency to do proper ground preparation uh, to really optimize the yield on the bank side of the panel as well. But I think what is also going to be very uh, important is uh, sizing of uh, structures to handle these kind of modules and also a lot of training given to the installers who are going to install and uh, implement these projects. So, uh, I think in India we don't have much sites as a proof of concept except a few developers who took a leap of faith a couple of years back and uh, set up projects with uh, bifacial technology. Uh, I think it's uh, commercially it's making sense. So, as a company, the new lines that we've also ordered are all with uh, bifacial and top on technologies. We will be ready with the 1.2 B node line by December 24. So, hopefully, January 4 we should be able to serve many of the customers uh, with our products. And uh, we are happy that the large companies are happy selling, uh, busy selling their products in uh, overseas markets. That allows small companies like us to sell it in India. Is there anybody else who wants to add anything to the market? Please. From the ABC side, I would like to have one benefit of the unique bypass models. That is the impact. When we are going to install the models, so there are high chances of damage of the candle seed during this model. The third mark because of the structure we have faced in one of our project in Jaranga, there was huge just because of the design of the MLS. Here it is glass. So damage of candle seed, it is zero because candle seed is not there. Secondly, glass is more mature technology than the so, it will be able to use the value in place of that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, else? Uh, so, I think uh, bifacial as a concept uh, has been born out of Excel sheets of developers, more or less. Bifacial with tractor will be known as much as division and all that. Uh, the fact being, uh, none of the manufacturers have been. Associated with products of the module manufacturers, asking them. None of the module manufacturers also say with commitment that it will give you this much extra power or you know, uh, generation. And again, you know, uh, there, is, there is nothing you know, bad about the using by Fisher or other product. I mean, it is just a product, the individual product. But yeah, uh, again, on the awareness part from the EPC or the user side, no, I have come across questions like Constitutionalism and Motility and Moses of the Moses of the Ninja So, you know, uh, again, yeah, coming back to the previous discussion which was happening and the, the awareness or the understanding of the product and this question has come from EPC, it's not very So, the, 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 the understanding of the product is still not there, right? I think manufacturers should should come with a lot of people have made a lot of investment in bifacial as well. They should emphasize on uh, you, know, uh, you know, making it understand to the user or the user or also with it. So thank you. Right. See, there is you know, another interesting uh, this thing also in the same way, which is part of the product. So, because I just don't want to cut it, just as it doesn't have to be moved. Here, in a way, 
artificial, but the bottom side will generate if I put it upside down at the same point. Best of my knowledge, it should be because uh, cells, both, both cells are bivalent cells. So it should, technically, it should uh, produce. Anybody else would like to throw out a light or let, let's fight out the ignorance? It <laughs> 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 is a very, very important point. It is us uh, uh, questioning whether it is due to misunderstanding or misunderstanding or whatever the case is going on or ignorance is going on. Us, uh, 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 we are not know, we are saying 5 to 6 6 we do not know because now the algorithm is working. If day has come already, then we are not going to depend upon algorithm. You have seen my presentation. We are not going to depend upon algorithm. Algorithm is an indefinite output. You cannot measure, you cannot define. Let me ask you, DPC people and other people, can you? Calculate the output of a vibration pattern using the PV system. Yes. How do you make sure people? You have to take certain considerations. What? So they want a model. Where is that? Today is not possible today. Can you say 5%? Can you substantiate it to the government? So, again, the ignorance. We are, we are entrenching ourselves into the ignorance only. So again, the champion of this ignorance will get the award or uh, whatever it is, uh, this is or uh, whatever it is. This one is going up here. So it is uh, definite output or indefinite or, or, or uh, finite output. So vibration now are going to make go from non-finite output to finite output. Only when we go into a finite output. A little bit of effect will be a bonus. If at all it comes, it's a bonus. Otherwise, it is not a bonus. Like in radius, Udarati is 6, Tamarati right is 5. So we don't have the same of Pega Vartas, more magic. It is because of the irradiance. We are not having that. At this. And uh, as you say, this uh, sand, what will happen? This point, what will happen? Or whatever it is. There is no factors involved. There is no research is going on. But people who brought the but uh, it also did not know what to do. And again, there is no more thing. It was measured. It was given to us. It was given to us. I don't know. Yes, out of the whole interest. Okay. What it really means? Then they ask, how does it happen? They say, what of doping they do less? Because this is the only vibration. They also do not believe whether it can go the maximum of the output that it can generate. So this is what the, so the technology again, the manufacturing technology, how we have to improve, how we have to match, how we have to integrate with the researches that is going on, how we can maximize the output productivity. That is what is more to the problem. And uh, as a researcher, as an experienced person, I would say my is a fantastic. Fantastic. If only we are able to do that, there's no part I will just don't show you to be get other person more is only because of the Not because of the But we are not depending upon that. Algorithm is no. Because algorithm cannot be and uh, again one more thing. What is the uh, inside the capacity in the package? Anybody? Who is there? Just we talk about domestic manufacturers. Uh, no, no, I have the vibration pattern is there. Inside the capacity is now. <laughs> For one point of hour, you now pay, or we now pay. We must be putting us if we want to. Only the top wattage will be taken. If I am right. Right, right. Is that the inside the capacity, or is it something more? Fund rating will be considered as the installed system. Why not? Sorry. Nobody is sure uh, on the bottom part. So on paper, nobody can give a proper number that it will generate that number. 
see this uh, less understanding or the way we refuse to understand or we delay to understand lead to our problem. Like we are able to take 30 lakhs units per megawatt per year. CEO is how much? How common is the CEO? What is the top foot or top and bottom or bottom, how much percentage you will get? I am kind of technical with that. We have installed one project. So, client has reported to use this IPC and models. We installed it. All this regularly. Now, uh, in fact, there was a discussion in city also. We were just discussing with the city if we put that capacity and output. Both are contradictory. I want 100 megawatts. They don't indicate how many lakhs of units in the region. If you put 100 megawatts, you do say into 15 lakhs of units. If we put it in 30 lakhs of units, how much do you feel the same? So when we say now, they don't change the capacity to number of units as soon as LCOE is the only. So LCOE will be the deciding factor. Now the megawatt has gone. And previously, now for the impact of migration panel also I did because the input comes from the background the technology is the road now. So when we said your system work for more operation than this and thank you for saying it is so every panel does come like that. So with that as a criteria, if you want to grow, then naturally one has to understand much better the migration. Either to buy, either to install, either to take more output, and also to calculate the hardware. And finally, it is IR and LCOE is able to talk about your success. So, this is what is it. Anyhow, it was an interesting subject, I think many of you could not report. And uh, now, I think to this particular thing, let's now come to the headquarters. The team is definitely growing while they are pushing smart. Usually, I get trained by some. I also do not know. I mean, I'm, I'm once again playing the ignorance game. There's no doubt. It is one of the audience. Now, how to size the input for the migration pattern? So there are factors which we always tend to understand before anybody is going to get the migration uh, model. One thing is the current. Okay. Because what happened is right now, there are several models, even in Mono, we have many high uh, no current models we have in this. And then uh, when you use Spyfish module, the tendency or probably the probability of current going on the top of the is, is highly probable. So when when someone installs such a test, what we guarantee that we will give 99% efficiency of the model. That is one. And Let's say uh, somebody has installed the 30% overloading, 30% overloading. So, which the entire capacity is installed over there, our inverter has to ensure that we will generate only 99% to 98% efficiency. This is, this is one thing. But at the same time, uh, all the inverter has some, uh, some capacity to carry that current. So, with the efficient model, we have to make sure that current. If it, if it goes, like say, 18 ampere, 19 ampere, or uh, let's say 17 ampere, the inverter has to sustain the value. So that is why the new technology which are coming up with. Because uh, 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 even uh, for 1500 volt um, modules, let's say for utility part, let's say for 500 volt or 10 megawatt part, and if somebody is using bifurcation module, so we what we understood that the current will not go beyond let's say 1600 ampere, 30 volt. But in case of short circuit or something like that, so all the safety parameter we have to make sure that the motor should not get hampered because of that. So uh, the connector in use in that motor has to be used at least 40 or let's say 30 meter long. So now we are giving up to 50 ampere of support to to get there. So for us, it's all about safety. It's all about efficiency has to match and how how the motor has to generate that. Uh, you know, module uh, efficiency out of uh, the power, what actually is building on top of it. 
So this is good. Uh, apart from that, uh, we are also not sure. So which current is coming up from which level? Either from top or from bottom? We are going to be doing that. But you have to make sure that if it, if it goes beyond that limit, people should not lose.